We are converting places really quickly. This is awesome. No. Shouldn't I have got a missionary? Oh, that was coring, not converting. I'm an idiot. Still, coring is also a good thing. Right, are there any rebels that are close to enforcing demands? No. Good. And how are we doing in terms of drill? Are we at 100? Once we hit 100 professionalism, I think I'm going to start moving towards Yemen. Serve you as an next regardless. Am I still allied with any of these guys? No, I lost all of those alliances. That's fine. You're leaving again, that's fine. Right, let's get the other Hindu province, because harder to convert. Ooh, tropical wood, that's a good one. It means it's cheaper to do buildings, I think. Native uprisings, not particularly relevant. <laughs> Kilwa wants an alliance. I'm going to be killing Kilwa, so uh, no. And I'm embargoing all three of those. I can probably lift the Ottoman embargo, because I don't think that's going to be earning me anything. Unless they are trying to steal money from me. Which they might be. Yeah, they were. That's why I was embargoing them. Milano was definitely embargoing, because they were stealing a lot of money from Alexandria. And then Molwa, I need to embargo so I get all the money from India. If I have 93% control of their home node. Wow. I bet you feel screwed. Ha <laughs> ha! 93%. And I only own the coast. I could do more with Bengal. I need to go and attack Bengal. Because I mean, they're still keeping 60. That's 60 ducats there, which I'm not controlling. The same with Malacca, another 60. I could actually increase my trade income by 100. Which, with the uh, trade efficiency bonuses, would probably actually be multiplied up to probably 150, 200. So I could effectively double my surplus income by going after Bengal and Malacca. I don't need the money, though. I really don't need the money. I think I've actually built every manufactory that I possibly can. Oh, no, there are a couple left. Right, that's all of these areas. That, no, these areas that I've just conquered. Right, professionalism. Are you at 100 yet? Yeah. Almost. Livestock. Tunis is annoying me. Ajaran wants an alliance. You guys are probably quivering in your boots right now because you know exactly what's coming. The Mamluks are coming. That's what. Uh, I can go Diplo. Do it. We are now ahead of time. We get another 20% trade efficiency. Boom. More money. And while I'm talking about money, let's get some tea. Ugh. Ow. That's just another uh, access. And do do do. do. There are all the cores. That was part of what I was waiting for, but I still want the professionalism. So I can get the half price generals in the future. Bojnord, uprising. Uh, you go and get them. Brunei wants an alliance. All the people want the alliance. I'm not particularly surprised. Oh no, that's actually adjacent to a place that has a fort. So the fort will retake the province for me. Thank you so much, Mr. Fort. There it goes. Marvellous. I can get another idea. That's military. At this point, I am going to wait, because I would quite like impulse warfare. It's a pretty big one. Wait, was that rifle infantry? Muslim rifles? Huh. Using rifles even before the Europeans, I guess. How's the professionalism? We're at 100. Okay, with that in mind, let's go and grab the armies and start moving you towards where we're actually going to be fighting. And you 
can come down here. Okay. And furthermore, let's start another stack training, actually. Infantry, standard. Build it there. Cost 50,000 manpower. That is totally acceptable. And now we have a very large battle fleet, too. In fact, you should be called the battle fleet. That's the mass infantry. I can't check the uh, unit. No, actually, can I? During the Khwaja era, the Persian army went through extensive westernization reforms with the help of the foreign advisors. The troops were trained in western military strategies and technologies. So apparently, yes, the west was already using rifles. I'm just surprised that, like, our core units are rifles. Rifles were always kind of a outside unit, as far as I can tell. I guess it would be 18, yeah, 1800s would be using rifles by then. Um, hi. Where the hell have you come from? I mean, ultimately what I'd like to do is have the ungeneral unit just kind of on rebel stomping duty. While the others are actually conquering. You guys are still on the march. 100,000 men moving together. I can build some more stuff. Let's go and build the rest of the manufactories. Just so I can say I have. And because it amuses me to say that the entire nation is industrialized. Before 1800. Rifles between became common around the 1850s, very prevalent during the American Civil War. Uh, repeater rifles were prevalent during the American Civil War, but uh, one-shot rifles were around even before then. Like, one-shot needle rifles were in the Austro... No, not the Austro... The uh, Franco-Prussian War, which was before 1850, I think. Although, actually, was it? When the hell was that war? Because that was one of the reasons given that the uh, Prussians won that one so easily. Uh, Franco Prussian War. Oh, no, it was later. 1870. What about the Boer War? 1899, 1902. Oh, that's the second one. First one, 1880. Now, these are all late 1800s. It, it feels like I'm using rifles en masse earlier than would have been expected. Uh, that's losing a boatload of money, which will mean a loan. But hey, it's a Hajj. Let's do it. And I'll take a loan, which I'll pay back almost immediately, probably, because my income is redonkulous. And did we go and squish the rebels? Still on the way. Rituals of Hajj. Move towards legalism. I don't want legalism. I want mysticism. Great advisor has died. No! And there are still no Egyptians. Uh, we'll go with the morale. Ooh, you're not even... No. You need to be at least accepted to be trained up. It used to be this dude. I can't afford it. No! I need more money. My income of 299 a month is not enough. Right, Yemen. Ajran was only Balochistan. We are declaring war on you. We are co belligerizing all of them. And we are doing this for imperialism. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. Oh, that army never arrived. No matter. And... Navy! Go ahead and blockade enemy ports in... Sure, the Arabian Sea. Why not? So 
So our Songli might go and grab some land here, but it won't matter for long. And you guys are ready. In fact, you know what? This general can come and join this army. We can then start drilling. You can split up, which will get the whole country. You're still doing that. You're sieging. In fact, you can split too. Legalism, mysticism. Colony damaged. Hopefully that colony can still grow. Overextended by one colony, and I just couldn't be bothered to create another colonial army. Gasp! Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Ethiopia is strong, but that's mostly just because I've left them alone. Uh, that won't last much longer. <laughs> I'm very much in a gobble everything up mood right now. There's not really anything that can stop me. Unless, like, Russia and Ming are allied. Russia and Ming are, in fact, at war right now, so I am totally fine. I just love how France is just a shadow of its former self. Revolutionary France and all. Oh man, revolutionary France is so strong though. How are you doing so badly? Do they have Napoleon? Jean the first Bonaparte, but considering it's a Bonaparte means that Napoleon was indeed in charge of France for a while. I wonder how long they had him for. So that would have been a very early Bonaparte. Okay, we're taking all of that stuff. We've taken all of this. Let's move on to our Songli. And Mombasa are in this war as well, aren't they? Yules. That's fine. Oh, conversion. Starting from the bottom, make sure those get done. And still winning the naval battles, which is lovely. Right, you need to find a place with 50 supply, which is probably along this coast somewhere. Really? Nowhere? There's one. You go and sit there. In fact, no, you can go down to Mombasa and take that out. Even better. And Ajaran, I can just peace out. For all their stuff, obviously. And that needs to be cored. Yemen wants peace. <laughs> Not until I've done with the others, Yemen. I'm afraid you've got the very, very short end of this stick. Oh man, that was Sungli capital's holding itself for a while, aren't they? Blimey. Colony is self-sustaining. Good. That means... That you can go back there. And that also means I have a colonist available who can go and continue finishing that colony off. So I'm back at three at a time. Siege of that is over, which means I can probably piece you out. Ooh, no, I can't. I'll take that out. And Mombasa army is on its way. Crush their navy. Traders need 100 ducats. You may have 100 ducats. That's totally fine. Also, build the last plantation. Right, we have all the manufactories once again. Can I build any more manpower buildings? Yes, but not really worthwhile. What about workshops? Workshops are worthwhile. What about trade? This is something I haven't looked at. Wow, plus 20? Hello. Uh, that's probably it. 
mosques. Couple. Naval force limit production. Everywhere else. So I get even more light shifts and dominate trade even more than I already am. <laughs> I like this plan. Ooh, that's a fairly large army. I'm going to have to go and crush you. Hi. Uh, uh, uh. And then let's have you force march and chase them down. Meanwhile, Wasungli, now can I piece you out considering you are... Really? I'll take that then. And you guys form up there. You can form up there. In fact, you can go there. Right, now I've taken the one and only province that they owned of mine. They're just getting a massive... They are co-belligerent, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I guess I just need to wait until they are at low war enthusiasm. You're big enough to maintain my army. You need to go and crush them. Hunt them down. Gotcha. And go to Mombasa, take that out. Good. They still have an army. I'm pretty sure I killed that army. Now I have. That's another one down. And then just Mombasa. Although Mombasa is not a co-belligerent. So I'm not taking Mombasa out. Although, where's Baluchistan? Baluchistan's over here. I have done nothing against Baluchistan. And Baluchistan are a co-belligerent. So I should do that. You go there. You go there. Go. And screw it. We'll take Mombasa down. Just because they're annoying me. By existing. And I could, in theory, tack up, but I'm going to wait until another two months. Tarnovo's done. You 50 supply. Wow, you are. Uh, I'm still going to sit in Karasi, I think. Mombasa's done. So you sit here and start drilling. Can't, because you need a leader. Eh, it's fine. You stay there. You're my rebel hunter. Don't forget your tea. Oh, I know. It's, it's here. Don't worry. Ah. Right. Um, you two are on your way to Baluchistan. So once Baluchistan has fallen, uh, we can then just take out Yemen. I might just piece you out for money. For now. Which is freeing you up to come and sit here. Awkward. In fact, no. Let's have you set to transport over to Madagascar. So we can take the uh, rest of the Kilwa territory down there. And then our other armies can take out Baluchistan. Which really shouldn't take very long. We'll take Baluchistan out and then Yemen. Uh, where is this? Bit this. You are a wool producer, therefore base tax is far more important. I may gain influence. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, man, really, 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 really wants peace. I really want peace. Right, Baluchistan. Am I going to have to take my fort back? Yep. But all 100,000 men go and sit on Kalat. Uh, Kurdish heritage. He is 50% cheaper. But I have loads of admin guys, so I don't really care. 
49% just straight away because I have so much artillery here. I'm getting plus 8 from besieging artillery bonus. I could just do an assault and then attack them with the 48,000 infantry who are sitting here. If you don't... Oh, for Pete's sake, really? Alright, blow it up. Invade it. Still. You know, if you want to challenge type bearers landing in the console. Is that the uh, Yan Mayan thing? I thought that was only Victoria. Actually, you guys may as well start shifting uh, down here towards Kilwa, where I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen. Absolutely nothing. Oh wow, Molwa's looking like they're having a bit of trouble. This might be a good time to go after Molwa. Although I've already set plans up to go after Kilwa and to also kill Mombasa at the same time. A new Amir al Haj. We want the Bedouin because they're actually pretty decent at what they do. Right, Baluchistan. Still won't accept. And I'm fairly confident that I killed the Baluchistan army. Unless that's it. That's it. Damn it. Are you fighting Afghanistan or something right now? Nope, just me. Have you sieged all of that down? Damn, well played, Baluchistan. Mental note, build those forts up. Also... Head of time, head of time. And change infantry to rifles. Conversion successful. Marvellous. Keep going. Apparently I have been lacking in that regard. Now you'll give up. And that leaves just Yemen. From whom I want everything. And Arabia has been unified. Marvellous. Okay. Um, so Kill was next. Once I've cored all of this. We need to get rid of some of the overextension. And then once Kill was gone, maybe Ethiopia. Just to say, Middle East, obviously mine. And then once Ethiopia is done... Probably the Ottomans, Mark 4, 5, whatever it is now. Although I don't have a truce with them anymore. I should probably try and gobble them up before, like, Poland takes Constantinople. Although it's actually kind of likely that they will. Oh, I will be so pissed off with you, Poland, if you do that. And I will have to go and crush you. Like I did to Hungary. I could really easily just pursue a war between Kilwa and Molwa at the same time. Who are you allied with? You're allied with nobody. That is a really bad idea on your part. Um, you know what? Screw it. We're going after Molwa. Why are you saying you need crossing? You just need to get to Kutch and then you're fine. Uh, you are heading down here. Where are all my armies right now? You're up there doing garrison duty. You're down there, that's fine. You're on your way over to Kilwa. Alright, we're good. And I have loads of money! So let's build another stack. Of standard. We'll put you... There. So now I am a little bit low on manpower, so I think I will go to the training fields and just say, all of this manpower. All this manpower all belong to me. Oh, wait. Oh, that's fine. I was going to say, I still need to pay off a loan. But it's it's not like I'm not going to be able to pay that off in four months. Uh, we want to go towards the moderates. Mysticism. And 
Mamluk Navy. New mission. I would like you to blockade enemy ports. Uh, in the Western Indian Ocean. And believe me, that war will be taking off pretty soon. And apparently I've become a slave trader. Right, can I pay off that loan yet? Or was it like a 2,000? It's a uh, 2,000. I need to, need to have 3,000 in the bank before I can pay it off. That's fine. I can deal with that. New self-sustaining colony. Let's go and stick you there instead. Uh, that was you. And then I should really go and gobble up like Rwanda and Basoga. And any others. Alright. Malwa. Declare war. Imperialism. Go. Oh, you started exiled. Actually, that's not a problem, because you have to go through Kutch to actually get to them. And then Kilwa, once my army has arrived. You need a leader. Thankfully, leaders are now cheap, because I'm at 100% professionalism. Alright, you're going there. Why can't you... You can move. Oh, is that just literally blocking you? That's blocking you. Go and kill that. Okay. Kill war. My army has arrived. <laughs> Can't declare a war in the same month as the previous war. I have never come across that before, but it's hilarious. <laughs> They're already on medium war enthusiasm. Oh dear. Bad time for Malwa. Bad, bad, bad time. How's the overextension reduction? That's going fine. And second rebel hunting army is done. Let's go ahead and send you up here. And you should probably head down here somewhere. Let's go to Hara. Okay. Those forts are not going to take very long. Right, loan, repay. There we go. You took that, marvellous. Go and take the next fort that I can see, which would be you. You, go for that one. Was just like <laughs> melting away before my might at arms. What is there? Military tech level 28. Mine's what, 30? Yeah. I'm quite far ahead of them. Could get naval morale. I don't think I need it for anything else. Go for it. Oh, that was literally all of my power. Cool. Um, right, Kilwa. Now I can declare on you. I can. This will pull Mombasa in. I cannot co belligerize them because they're. A... That's annoying. Because I already have a truce. No matter. Uh, that's the only fort they have. Go for that. And you may as well honestly just blanket siege because I'm relatively confident that they don't have any troops over here. And even if they do, I have complete naval superiority. So, no. No, 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 no. no. Though this does mean fighting Mombasa again, but eh, it's fine. Oh, they do have two forts. I just noticed Zimbabwe has one too. Oh, Masapa has one. Where's the capital? We'll go to Masapa first. It's fine. How many troops do they have? They have a fair army sitting somewhere. There it is. Oh, you had to go after my colonial stacks, didn't you? You bastards. <laughs> 